Uh, anyways, let's move on to is K-pop flex a scam? So I, you guys know I've been to K-pop flex both days actually, and so I wanted to share some of my experiences with you. Um, so this is like a Twitter account solely for K-pop fest, calling them a scam. So it says, we attended the Saturday show, bought tickets on the, oh, bought the tickets on October 12th, being excited for Europe's first K-pop fest. At the time, only Monster X were announced and only Saturday was scheduled. All our excitement fell flat. Um... Basically, uh, awful organization, messy and professional, bad communication and information dropped at the very last minute, making people panic and unorganized, hence a chaotic festival. Um, yeah, I don't really know what they mean by this per se. Like, are they talking about, uh, their social media updates or are they talking about like at the venue of the day I will say the staff so I've heard the staff at K-pop Flex that was their first time being there I don't know how the organizer Director, I forgot his name. Was it Patrick or something? I don't know how he got to hire them. But they've never been to that, to Dutch Bank Park before. The vendors were like, oh, Peter, thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I don't know why or even if they should but the vendors outside didn't know anything like I asked them like where's the water hydrant and they like have no clue and I genuinely don't know if it's because they wanted me they wanted people to buy their drinks or if they just genuinely didn't know where the free water refill station was Uh, false advertisement. This one's the worst. They lied about everything before, during, and after the fest. Switching artists from dates when people already bought tickets for pre-announced uh, artists like Monster X. Suddenly, tickets were added for Sunday. They announced the show starting at 6 p.m. Um, yeah, that's something different, but... I don't really do festivals or concerts, so this one I'm genuinely, like, I just don't know. So I'm not really, it's not a huge deal to me that, um, Monster X had to switch days. I thought it was because of their end of things, something about Korea, I don't know. Maybe, like, their schedule didn't line up. And so I'm not too mad at that. Like, I, but I'm also not, like, a Monster X stan either. And I, I, it seems like something that is not okay. But, like, it, it just happens. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know maybe you guys uh, who've attended a bunch of festivals can can speak but I didn't really think it was that big of a deal uh they also yeah something about the oh so they said that here's the start for the or the, here's the set times it was told that it was going to be a five-hour show. Uh, but it ended up being 
Here, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, five hour show. The show starts at six and ends at 11. And somehow people. Think that the pre show. Should be included in this time. Which I mean, I don't know. I think that's that's kind of fair. But I also don't know. I don't know if that's like the standard or not. They had their anniversary on the 14th. If uh, I recall correctly, it was because of some schedule on that day. That is true. Yeah, they had like a big... They also had a special VCR playing on the 15th because of their anniversary, so... It could very well be because of, like, other people involved, not just K-pop flex. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Am I, like, too chill? <laughs> um, but yeah, the pre-show was, like, two hours for Saturday. I didn't even... We came in late, actually. We weren't there, really, during the pre-show, except for... What happened? Oh, we, we came in, found our seats during the b-boy dance. So there was, like, some dancing groups and during for the pre-show and, like, this humble uh, fa fashion show, um, spreading, spreading some Korean culture, I dig it, uh, although, like, I genuinely can't remember if there's anything else for the pre-show, but we saw the fashion show happening, and then we're like, you know what, I'm kind of hungry, <laughs> And thirsty. Let's go buy stuff. Uh, so yeah, we were trying to get water. And that's when um, some uh, NCT fans were sitting next to us. They actually helped us find our seats. And they were like, oh, if you guys want free water, there's like a, a water hydrant from the ground that you can you can um, get free water from. And I was like, oh, okay. Do you know where? And they're like, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's it's out there. Like you'll see it. And I was like, Oh, okay, sure. And we did not see it. We did not know where to go, man. Asking any other vendors, they didn't know. The staff didn't know. I don't know. It's really annoying. I ended up having to buy stupid carbonated stuff. Not even carbonated water. It was so sad. So yeah, now some people are mad. Like it's supposed to be five hours, but it's not. It wasn't even a three-hour show. It ended up being like two and a half hours, really. I don't know about this equal time for male and female slots. Ive is 20 minutes, and Hyben is 30 minutes. ABX is... It looks, see, it looks like ABX got longer time. Um, but it was because of the special stage. So that they didn't add to the set list. So Mamu got 20 minutes. Um, G Idol got... What was that? What is math? Math is hard. 35 to 50. That's also... Two, two, oh, that's 15 minutes for G-Idol. Also, apparently, just about 0% of the population... German population speaks even the most basic English. 
No, some of the security guys at the stadium, yeah, they spoke neither German nor English, so. I think that's who you're talking about. <laughs> Do you know what they spoke, though? Like, what did they speak? What language did they know? <laughs> What is this? The one I talked to spoke Serbian. Wow. Many spoke Polish or Turkish. The guards that we talked to spoke English. Start 6 p.m., entry 4 p.m. Ah, entry. Okay. Anyways, early tickets issue. This one's ridiculous because early tickets were mixed with general tickets and could have ended really, really badly. See, this one I had no clue because, you know, we had seats. So, like, it's like early tickets is whatever. Um, but apparently... Uh, instead of letting us in one by one, by the numbers, they let everyone run and storm the gates. People were pushing so hard, if anyone had fallen, they would have gotten trampled. That's also people's responsibility. Blah, blah, blah. It's true, but it's the security's responsibility to keep everyone safe, and they gave us numbered wristbands, and then they decided that they didn't want to follow the order, so everyone decided to run straight to the gate, which is very dangerous. I wonder, though, is it because the security guards didn't know how to say <laughs> in English, hey, these are the numbers, and everyone assumed when they said that in their language, they're like, oh, run through, got it. K-pop flex staff denying early entry. People are showing wristbands to let staff know of the situation. Staff does nothing. Yikes. That sucks. See, this is like, this is when it's a definite scam here. Because you, you paid for getting in early with these early tickets. And then it just ends up not happening. Yeah. This one's messed up. I don't know what this is about. Steph had no idea what they were doing. When asked uh, where the entrances and lines were for specific, specific, specific ticket types, everyone I talked to, including me, got the same reply, which was just an I don't know. I think this was because everyone getting in through the same gate in the early entry people stood in the back but the security didn't do anything about getting the crowd to let them through yeah that's ugh, that sucks there definitely should have been separate gates I don't know are there separate like there has to be separate gates can they just make that all I remember is one giant... No. Was there? No, there were separate gates, for sure. They could have done that. Where they were, like, confiscating all of the food and drinks area, they probably could have had, like, early admission here and then general admission for the other gates. That definitely should have happened, I think. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I never, uh... oh, you know what, I do remember, I was talking to some girl staff, and she was like, talk to that guy, and then the other, and then the guy that I talked to was like, oh yeah, you have to keep walking around, so, I, yeah, I guess, I guess like someone didn't know.
I did work for rank slash seat. Ironic thing is for soccer matches, they got separate gates and knows how to separate people categorically. Yeah, I feel like they just, he just hired someone totally new just to keep it cheap. That's what I'm thinking. Um, as, uh, as someone who had a standing ticket, there were four lines formed at the entrance with no control over the people in them. The lines were just formed by fans attending on their own. And again, when the staff were asked if this is how they should be lined up, they responded with an I don't know. And that was the end of it. People were passing out in line because it was so hot and water was practically... Uh, Not access accessible. I don't know if unaccessible is a word. They do. There's a difference between from one single ticket buyers, regulars, ticket holders, slash season tickets, VIP, family section, etc. Oh, I feel like you're talking about something else. I should read more, but I don't think they have separate. I'm just gonna. Um, but I don't think they have separate gates for the actual soccer field because there's usually no spectators. They should have built something outside to separate the peeps. They do. There's a difference from single ticket buyers, regular ticket holders, slash season tickets, VIP, family section, etc. Yeah, but for the seats, but not for the field. Is there? I don't know, actually. I think it means outside the stadium. Because people were passing out in the lines outside and like there was no water. There's no water access outside this, uh, the stadium. Man, I would not have liked lining up in the sun like that. That would have sucked. I brought a drink. It was like a clear um, bottle of carbonated apple juice, which is like, honestly, Germany, seriously, like, what is that? Why do you have to carbonate everything? <laughs> it was the weirdest thing ever. The weirdest sensation in my mouth. Bubbly apple juice. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, apple juice. I haven't had this since, like, I was in college. It was all spiky and bubbly. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, I would talk smack about apple, ap apple, sh ap 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 apple, 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 Did save my life though. Man, oh, that day, like, the sun was so hot. Anyways, um, they had, I think, two to three stands where you could actually get water, and the lines for those stands were almost as long as the entrance itself. If you wanted to refill your cup of water, good fucking luck, because you can either go back in the line for the stands or go to the equally as full line at the bathroom to try and get a refill. Uh-huh. By the time it came to, this is when I was genuinely uh, thankful for Sato to get my <laughs> cup of water. <laughs> uh, that was, uh, bless him, honestly. I hate waiting in lines. I genuinely do. And he was a wonderful soul. That got me my cup of water. And Amy and Danny for getting me my cup of... Uh, I don't know. I think it was Fanta that they got me. That or water. More water. That's why I have fucking three K-pop flex cups. <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot. I wanted to bring out the drink. Her DOS got me. Hold on.
I can't find a shot glass, but I got this melanin liquor, which is, we already drank some. It's so good. It tastes like a, like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, just straight up. Oh yeah. I won't drink much. You like this much? It look at it's the color is so cute. Okay, I don't have too much, but Who knows? Maybe we'll finish it. Um, all of them came the same way and they were separated in the stadium at the gates to the stairways going up to the seats. Oh, I thought all of them. Interesting. That's what I thought too. It differs from stadium to stadium, though, now how high-profile the soccer team is. But Frankfurt having a bad rep for violent fans, generally speaking, they tend to divide people, so they got sections for themselves. Oh, I see. Um, so by the time it came to about an hour before the gates opened, there was no more lines to speak of, and fans were just swarming the entrance from all sides to the point where my ticket and... And as it looked like many other tickets weren't even properly checked. Oh. See, that's what I don't understand. Because I remember just trying to get into the area at the first gate. You had to scan your ticket in. Unless she's talking about, um, like going to your seats or the standing line. No, she had the standing line. I don't know. Once you were actually in, people were pushing and trying their hardest to get to the front. It was hard to breathe and people were passing out. Yeah, a lot of people passed out. I swear, like every 10 minutes, you would see the a gurney of someone getting pulled out. It was really frequent. Like, more frequent than I expected and thought. Anyways. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. It's so sweet. I feel like I need a, I don't know, chaser or something. Like some lemon or lime. Chaos didn't end and after the show was done, there was no ride to the hotel or anywhere. The whole thing was so chaotic, but from the information I gathered, speaking to police and useless staff, there was that street near the airport was closed off for some and taxis didn't even drive there at some point because of the swarm of fans. Outside the stadium, People were desperately looking for a ride home with the police promising taxis, but there was almost none to speak of for almost an hour. According to some newspaper article I read afterwards, 180 people had to be attended and one had to be taken to the hospital. <gasps> That's a lot of people. According to them, it was an usual amount. For real? <laughs> what? That's a lot. I mean, like... Is that really usual? I expected usual to be like 50. <laughs> Not 180. <laughs> That's... Like, for both days? Or for each day?
Um, speaking of taxis, uh, so we left Saturday early, early, during Kai's performance, which I gen I genuinely regret because it was there was no point whatsoever. Um, so we got an Uber. I would have rather taken the train to be honest, but we got an Uber. The guy accepted our ride for 30 euros and we were waiting at the point. Um, but there was a whole line of cars just like moving, I don't know, one mile per five hours, honestly. It was so slow. And all of a sudden he clicks a... Uh, that he picked us up, which he didn't. And so we were panicking. A lot of people actually asked us like, hey, can we, did you get an Uber? And uh, they were trying to like hitch a ride with us, which I don't even know how that works. But either way, like we weren't going where they were. We didn't go to a hotel, we went to an Airbnb, but, um, yeah, he, he accepted, he, he made it seem like he picked us up even though he didn't. And then, so we just ended up walking down the line of cars to try and find him. There's like this field of grass area, um, where a bunch of other cars were parked there trying to get out as well. It was a weird line. It was like, here's a line to the road to leave. Um, and on the other side, there's also a bunch of parked cars that are like looping around trying to also merge into the main road to try and leave the stadium. Our guy, he was on this main road, but then he tried to go into the patch of grass for some reason. And he ended up being in the longer line. And um, thankfully, though, he was uh, a little bit smart. And he just kind of cut everyone. <laughs> and somehow he was able to go. Yeah, he just like he was, went on the left lane. Left side of the road here. It was a two way. We went on the left side, he cut everyone, and then we left, and we were home, but, like, it was, like, after two hours. Oh, man, that was terrible. And then we found out he charged us um, for 70 euros. I don't know how that happened. Some weird Uber th um, trick that you can do as a driver, I guess. Oh, for both days. Oh, my God. That's like maybe 90 people for each day. Well, they said it was a flawless success and there were no problems. Just a matter of subjective opinions. Of course they have. They have to say that. Of course they do. Just checked uh, for another festival, Rock M Ring. Not the same kind. Uh, 84,000 people going three days. Yeah, I want to talk about the difference between Head in the Clouds and K-Pop Flex. As well, they had over 9,000 ambulance activities and over 1,000 were taken to the hospital. Okay, that's a little bit. That's kind of wild, I'm not going to lie, actually. I guess like 180 is like pretty... That's pretty fair. I wonder how Water Bomb is compared to K pop flex. Because Water Bomb is in Korea, right? Are there people passing out? I doubt it because it's like, you know, water. <laughs> it's just everywhere. You cool down no matter what. I don't know. I guess people could slip and fall. 
That's pretty haphazardous. Um. Hey, Carls, what's up? Can we first talk about what any of those things are, please? Kappa. We're talking about festivals. Music festivals. Um, so, blah, 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 taxi, taxi. Took almost, they waited four hours to get a taxi to go to a hotel that was 15 minutes away by car. The police suggested we walk there? What? The staff at the time was extremely disrespectful and they were joking and laughing while people were completely exhausted, waiting in line, desperately trying to get home. We didn't even bother asking the staff about getting a ride home. Like, we, I, I thought that's like, it's all on you now. I didn't know about shuttles. That this was a thing until head in the clouds. Um, so it's gonna be at Rose Bowl. I don't know what's the Rose Bowl capacity of oh, ninety thousand. Holy shit! This is gonna be a lot bigger. Um, I don't know what ins and outs means. So it's a cashless event. Uh, you have to have a credit card or if you arrive with cash, don't have a bank account, lose your credit card, we got you covered. C locations where you can convert cash to a prepaid Visa card will be available. That's kind of cool. And I like that they have this whole, like, what can I bring? And like this whole list of stuff. First of all, what is it? Hula hoops? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do hula hoops? I don't know. I don't know why you would bring hula hoops, actually. But I like how that that was a thing that you cannot bring. Um, I like that uh, you can bring water bottles, but it has to be empty, non-metal, reusable. So that's a lot more. Like, I... With this information, I would have known to have brought a bottle that was clear and not my metal water bottle. I was tempted to bring in that, but I didn't. Um, you give me parasols? Never heard about a cashless events before. Me neither. No totems. No tailgating. Stuffed animals is a no-no. Can't bring Sharpies. Markers, paint pens, no wagons, laser pointers is a no-no, no instruments, no hoverboards, segways, hammocks, I don't know, no glass either, huh. Uh, either way, and then, let's see, getting there, so like, of course you can park, there's also the train station, and then there's a free shuttle! What? That's cool. It's also, of course, rideshare, uh, which is like Uber, stuff like that. Um, there's also lockers available for rent, apparently, so you can keep your stuff there. Which is like, really nice. <laughs> So yeah, I like I like that about Head in the Clouds. Yeah, I'm gonna go. We I bought my tickets. So I bought um the VIP tickets, which concludes or includes a limited edition eighty eight rising t shirt, a cinch bag. You have the VIP area to the main stage and a uh, second stage with designated VIP restrooms. Additional shade and seating areas, uh, exclusive food and beverage 
vendors, hello, early entry, dedicated VIP entry lanes, uh, exclusive access to a location with festival merchandise. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this. General admission is just like, you know, you just go there. You can be there. That's it. And then the South Bay Surf Club. This is really fancy. You get dedicated parking. Um, and a parking pass, but I guess you have to pay for it. Oh, no, it's included with purchase. Yeah, I was worried. Uh, uh, but, like, after seeing all those fan cams, I was like, oh, man, maybe I should have gotten a standing ticket. You know, I could have just, like, uh, I enjoyed the other performances. But it was like, honestly, though, I would have been fine just, like, going there just to see Mabu and then just bouncing afterwards. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um... What else do they have? Yeah, complimentary food and beverage stuff. Uh, a deluxe bar with complimentary cocktail and beer tastings. Rotating drink specials. Guest mixologists for 21 plus guests. All the VIP stuff. Indoor air conditioned lounge with live HD feeds of the main stage. Private air conditioned restrooms. So I guess ours is an air conditioned. Wow. And then we have uh, lockers and um, yeah, so that's pretty fancy. I don't think we're going to drive around. We're going to get there by train. Uh, it's me and Infamous that are going as well. Oops, do not, I already bought mine. Um, what is this? Accessibility? No, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I like I like that this is a lot more clear than K-pop Flex, which is where I had to go through people's tweets that are asking them about those questions that should have been FAQ <laughs> on their website. Well, I guess they were, but they were just not as clear. Yeah, there's no mosh pit at a K-pop fest. Highly disappointing, but uh, they also um, have like this this feedback form that you could fill out. Really hope uh, you're taking everyone's feedback seriously. Not doing this for control damage only. Here's what you should definitely work on. Uh, Nice. Uh, we just listen. We just listen to music. We do fan chants and then we cheer. And uh, we also faint. <laughs> 180 of us faint. Translation of how K-pop Flex is responding to the criticism, denying everything and blaming fans for not wanting water. Organizer rejects criticism of K-pop festival. Ah, so here it is. 70,000 people attended the festival last weekend. Criticism was then raised on social media. There was not enough water and shade. This is what I found interesting and odd. Why did they have to provide the shade? Is that really, like, what are they supposed to do? Prop up umbrellas? And parasols? Or, or tents? You know what I mean? Like, it's it's 70,000 people. What do you... I don't know. This That I don't understand. Plant a tree or something. I don't know. So, Peter Notting? No, no, nudie? I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. Um, so one user complained about the long queues in front of the beverage stands. You have to stand in the blazing sun for more than 45 minutes for a water drink. Your own drinks were therefore not allowed to be taken inside. 
uh, that's like half true. I mean, like I was able to bring my apple carbonated apple juice bottle, but I did see like other people's drinks being rejected at the uh, at the gates. So I I just I don't understand what the like what was the difference either. Um, there more than 30,000 people ran to the S-Bahn station at the same time being pushed and kicked. The, yeah, the line to the station was very, very long. Although on Sunday, it wasn't too bad, actually. We just waited for like 20 minutes, give or take. And then we got on. Uh, although walking to the train station also took 20 minutes. But that's because, like, we were walking slow. There wasn't enough shade. Hundreds of visitors fell over in the crowd. Security could not help with questions because it was the first time they had been in Waldstadion. The schedule is also criticized. I yeah, I didn't experience or witness any pushing or kicking, but we were also I mean, I was also late as well. Like I wasn't there before the pre-show, you know what I mean? Just to get my seat in so organizer not everything went perfectly that's a big uh oh <laughs> if that's your first thought or first statement bro uh oh <laughs> um even before the ad official admission in the afternoon hundreds of people gathered in front for the Korea Festival. Therefore, supply stations were more limited than the stadium itself. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he's supposed to do, though, to be fair. Cause like he can't he can't just build a water hydrant right at the stadium. Can he bring water vendors just like barrels of water? Maybe. Probably should have brought like. Yeah, a bunch of uh bunch of water stations like portable water stations that make it most funny um nobody knows anything about chaotic conditions what <laughs> wait what wait okay when asked organizer uh admits that some things didn't go optimally op op optimally at the premiere no tram traffic was possible due to construction work at the weekend. As a result, Esfan was uh, more frequented. But nobody knows anything about chaotic conditions. Problems with the routing could also be attributed to the fact that many of the visitors had been to the Frankfurt station walled stage stadion for the first time when asked the police said that no special in okay yeah yeah you but you should know that it, even if that is like a fact right you should have trained your staff to explain things and know like the area so that they can guide the visitors that have been visiting there for the first time. 
that's that's a terrible excuse. Um, police said that no special incidents were reported. Distributed water to those waiting. There's also a need for improvement with regards to long queues. Uh, the roof of the stadium was closed to provide shade. Okay. Only at the seated area. And honestly, that shade wasn't enough. Like, it was like a white roof. So the sun's still, like, shining through. <laughs> uh, just, just so that you get light, right? Like, like, I mean, that makes sense. But it was still, it was just so hot. It was genuinely so hot. I don't know what they're supposed to do for there. You know what I mean? Like what? Are they supposed to get fans? Get big old fans just to like blow some air? Yeah, I don't know. Not to defend them. I'm just like, I'm genuinely curious. Like, I don't know what they're supposed to do. Move it by one month, making sure it's, <laughs> it's uh, summer, not spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a really hot weekend, though, for a spring. A spring season. The German Red Cross. Employees distributed packaged water on site. Some of the fans in front of the queue at the entrance didn't want to drink anything, so they wouldn't have to go to the toilet afterwards and thus lose their good place in the queue. Um... I didn't see anyone distribute packaged water at all. I saw people with like um, selling drinks. They sold beverages to me walking around for like freaking five euros for a cup of Coke or Fanta. Almost immediately after the weekend, temps dropped from 90 to 65. Yeah, that was kind of wild. <sighs> Due to the large number of visitors, a second edition is planned for next year. Yeah, so there's a... Uh, next year, it's going to be held in London. Uh, I don't know if I'll go. I mean, like, all of that for a 20-minute performance was honestly a little disappointing. The only thing that made it my experience happy enough was just being with uh, other moves, not gonna lie, and being with friends. That was fun. But besides that, uh, yeah, it was 20 minutes per group, basically. Sometimes even 15. So, I don't know. Like, I just don't know why it was that short. Um, It was like... Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. I don't know who Down is. Sorry. But happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, so seven, seven bands, seven groups in one day. 
The next day was technically six, though, I think, because of one is having COVID. Oh, there should have been eight on Sunday. But what about COVID? It was supposed to be... Wait, but was it Sunday time shorter? Or was this after one is... Because this was Saturday's five hours. Sunday's four. Uh, okay. Uh, they changed it later. Uh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Then is a member of twice. You know Mama Moo, but you don't know twice. Why do I have to know twice if I know Mama Moo? But I do, I know like some songs of twice. I like, I like, what is it called? Alcohol? Alcohol Free? I like that song. I don't know the members, though. It's too much. <laughs> it's a lot. A lot of members. Uh, the pre-show. Yeah. I don't know about disappointing and embarrassing. Um. I think that's a little bit unfair. Like, that's, that's, that's like your opinion about Korea Fest. I don't think that's a fair thing to say, but the pre-show, what was weird is that during the pre-show, right? So like they, they showed this dancing crew and then I think the Hanbok fashion show, uh, and then it was just silent <laughs> for like 40 minutes. And every 20 minutes, there was like an announcement for like, um, you know, like here's how you exit in the in the stadium. You know, exit over here to be near the train station or whatever, and that was it. And so that I don't know, that was weird. Like I don't attend these festivals, but that was weird. Someone messed up that day for sure. I feel like it. Yeah, their fandom is called ones. <laughs> I think some staff actually helped me. I do think uh, the pre-show should have been before. How do I say this? Like, the pre-show should not have been included in the concert time, so, that they've shown. I don't know. I mean, that's just me. But. No good, no good. Yeah, I did not know that this was the, the water hydrant that I was supposed to look for. And this is wrong. It's not that, that, um... Oh, what is it? here? It says, it says like we could not bring water bottles at the entrance. That you can't bring metal water bottles. I think that was the issue, because I was able to bring mine. But they weren't exactly clear about that either. So. They just said, hey, there's free refill water stations. And, you know, you don't tell us, like, what kind of bottles to bring. Also, I didn't like how they didn't clean the stage after every performance. That was, like, I was like, oh, man, that's really... Uh, I hope our artists are okay, because uh, there was a lot of confetti... You know, people be sweating, 
People be slipping and sliding. Hoss ended up slipping. That was a no final. So, yeah, not very good. K-pop flex, you gotta do better.